Thought I'd just drop something. Hey guys, what's good? What's happening? And what's going on? I know I heard a knock on the floor there, and I thought I got a handful of shit. And uh, thought I dropped something, but apparently I didn't, so that's all right. Unless I didn't, I didn't realize it. And that's all right too. Um, work's done for the day, but uh, sorry about that. I need to turn on the light down here and get you guys situated in tripod mode because uh, we got chatting about 3D prints at work, and I told them. Uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I printed off a bunch of crankbaits and stuff. And I'm like, uh, they're like, oh, what'd you use for infill? And I told him, I said, oh, I went 80%. And they said, are they going to float? And I'm like, are they supposed to? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like thinking back to my crankbait days. And I'm like, that's right. They are supposed to float. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just filling up the instant pot with water. I'm going to drop these things in and see if they float or sink. If they do sink, they will be good test baits to uh, test painting on. But if they actually float, then I can paint them up and send them out. I'm hoping these wire ties hold. They use enough Gorilla Glue. I guess we'll find out if a fish bites it and uh... <laughs> Is that enough water? Yeah, it's enough water. Will it sink or float? <laughs> Balls! It sinks hard. Okay, and it sinks sideways. Okay, that's no good. Will you sink or float? That one floats and it floats belly side down, sort of. Okay, that one's good. Are you going to sink or float? <laughs> Freaking straight sink. Okay. Sink or float. That one floats and it floats properly. Cool. And this one here should do the same. Floats properly. So the whopper ploppers are good. <laughs> Everything else is sketch. I'm going to have to lower my infill on those crankbaits or cut a bladder into the top of them so there's air stuck inside of the bait and it'll stay upright while it's pulling. That could work. Anyway, I'm going to head out to the garage, mainly because I want to uh, try applying paint to these, as well as clean it up a bit. So let's go to the garage. Open the door and the wildlife is in here. Got a friggin' chipmunk back here somewhere. I just saw him. I don't know where he ran off to, but I think I might set up my cage and catch him. Then relocate him halfway across the city. You're not supposed to do that, but anyway. It's friggin' nice out here. I don't even have a jacket on. Or an eye a rebel. But the first thing I want to do is sweep up this floor she's covered in leaves actually i really want to paint who am i kidding i forgot my paint stand in the house what i'm gonna do is i need to build my brush because right now there's no needle in it and no tip because i lost the friggin' tip in the house somewhere i got my kit down here somewhere with all the different pieces of it and i need to put a new needle in it what are you 0 0.2 millimeter you're 0 0.5 let's run the 0.2 if i can get it out of this container there we go. No, this is the bigger one. Let's just see what it does. Where did I put the brush there? Airbrushing's fun. Especially when you have no idea what the hell you're doing. I cleaned it all out. It's good to go. So put the 0.2 millimeter needle in. Did I bring the wrench out with me? Or did I put that somewhere? See, it also has this option too, where you can load paint down here and it sucks it up as it goes. I haven't tried that one yet. I was told it's not the best solution. This is the 0 0.2 millimeter nozzle, which is actually the 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle or whatever it came stock with. So let's go ahead and pour that out that there. And this goes into the end. This is some precision work. Easier when the needle's not poking through. Also easier if you don't have eyes like mine. Okay, why are you not threading in? Oh my God, no wonder why I was having a problem painting. <laughs> the other um, jet that I had in there, the threads broke clean off of it. Well, no wonder why paint never went through it. Well, that thing's still alive. <laughs> There's a bug back here. I thought it was dead, but it's totally trying to escape the, the uh, cobweb. Oh, well, natural selection. He probably shouldn't have flown that close. Got that in. Let's get this needle in. See, I just want to know if this is going to work. That friggin' squirrel. Piss off, buddy. There's two of them in here. Yeah, that's it. Somebody's getting trapped. Seriously, I'll get my pellet gun. Take you out. I'm like, look at this shit. Freaking wildlife's taking over my garage because they can squeeze in under there. There's a hole back here somewhere. These two are about to scrap because they're trying to get dominance over my garage. Oh, man. So freaking annoying. I wonder if you can eat chipmunks. <laughs> Has anybody in my audience ever eaten a chipmunk before? Are they tasty? Let me know in the comments below because... Uh, this shit keeps up. We might have a catch clean cook on our hands. Do I even need that nozzle tip? Okay, so if I... All right. So what we're going to do now is, you know what, for shits and giggles, let's grab something that we can just spray onto, like paper towel or something. We got to come over to this side anyway, because the air compressor is over here and I use that air compressor to 
air spray. So apparently really nice about this airbrush or this uh, spray paint is, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Don't I have paper out here somewhere? Service manual for stuff I don't even own anymore. I just wanna see the pattern it sprays in. I'm gonna go grab one of those art canvases from the dollar store. Whole freaking garage has turned into a, actually my whole yard's turning into a wildlife foundation. Anyway, got one of these from the house. They're one of the shittier canvases. I think they're like a buck a piece. Crafter's canvas. Jesus, Murphy. Remember people, cut away from yourself. Practice knife safety, because I won't. Let's get Mr. Airbrush and the hose for Mr. Airbrush. So this screws into here. What's my PSI set to on this thing? Good enough, hashtag good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab my paint. The barbecue won't be sitting here forever, but this is just a test paint to see how well this paint flows. And we're gonna start with regular black. They say in the box to vigorously shake the shit out of it. So that is what we're doing. And then we'll put a couple drops. It's not coming out. I have a feeling that this paint has a seal. And I am correct, totally has a seal. That is some black freaking paint. Oh, that worked. Okay. Okay then, all right. Maybe I just needed to clear some shit out. I really want to put the end cap on it though to protect the, uh, the needle which I found it, which for some reason it will not screw on. I don't know why. I don't know why the paint sometimes shoots through and sometimes doesn't. I'm gonna add a little bit more black paint to it. Maybe two drops wasn't enough. Welcome to painting with skivens. Painting a picture on a canvas. Actually, that works pretty good when you actually have the proper paint, eh? Do some light shading around it and go full in to get some serious detail and then some light shading. Okay, that works pretty good. All right, all right then. I'm just gonna take this line and friggin' figure this out. I need to build a, a stand for this airbrush. I wonder if I could do that on 3D printing. Okay, I am going to clean this out and then we're gonna try and paint a bait. I was looking for a USB-C cable so I could keep the GoPro charged a little longer than not, but that's not happening, so awesome. Just gonna clear this drum out of black paint. Clear whatever's in the airbrush out of black paint. Apparently there's still a lot left in the airbrush. I need some water out here. Not for drinking, for cleaning the airbrush. I'll be right back. But there is definitely a mod I'm making to the next tripod. Something that can hold a battery pack so this thing can have a little bit more life. Anyway, I just threw a couple drops of water in there. Spray that out. I don't know if you can see that stream. And that's all the water. She's clear now. Cool. I got Flippy Flappy Flounder here. We got him on a, uh, a simple little clamp, which would be awesome if I had this clamp attached to a stand or something. You know what we might do? Might kick it old school, boys. Might use this thing here, hook that like that, and then I can guide it and just let it do its thing while I'm painting. So we're not gonna be using black yet. I don't know what color to paint this. I'm just gonna have some fun. I'm thinking fire tiger. Yellow on the bottom, paint all over myself. Okay, we're gonna use yellow on the top, or on the bottom, orange on the top, green through the, um, green through the sides, and then black stripes. Shake it up and then unmask it, right? Cause. Uh, these are brand new paints and they're all sealed. Yeah, they're all hermetically her sealed. That's not even a word, I'm making it up. Herthemically.com, not a real website. Go there at your own risk or don't, I don't care. Do what you want, it's your life, live it. Now I'm starting to understand why people wear gloves to paint. So I'll put yellow on the bottom, orange on the top, green stripe through the side, and then we'll put some, some spots or some black dots on it. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, beauty plan. There's still some black in there. I'm not even giving her paint and she's spraying black still. Oh no, she's spraying both. Okay, well that's a problem. That's a problem I didn't think of. It's like I need an airbrush for each color because I suck at cleaning out airbrushes. 
Okay, every single last ounce of black is out of there. Okay, now every single last ounce of black is out of there. Let's load up some more paint. All right, put that over there. Grab Guppy, and we're gonna do the underside. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, probably not. Cool. So we'll let that dry. What did I say on top? Oh yeah, orange. Now I wonder if I can, no, I probably shouldn't. I talk to myself a lot, all right? It's, uh, it's a problem I have. Like I said, I got a lot of work to do on airbrushing. I've had this thing for, what, two years now? Never thought to be smart and buy actual paints for it. Like why be smart when you can be stupid? Am I right? All right, so I'm gonna paint the top half orange. We're gonna go airbrush hobby orange by these guys. I don't know how well this is gonna work. It might look cool, it might not. Doesn't bother me either way. Thanks, it's still spring yellow. I don't know, I think that looks pretty, pretty neat. Got the yellow on the bottom. That on the top. As long as she pumps through the water well, that'll be pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> All right. I'd like to put, I was thinking of like a black line down the center, but I'm going to go ahead with the green because I think um, that will probably look the coolest. I could be wrong on that, you know, because I usually am. But as far as the crankbaits go, I might just paint them up on my own time as a hobby thing just to do something fun. Probably won't film that because I'm sure... But I'm just gonna paint them up and just hang on to them as a, as a souvenir. Okay, what green do I want to use? Don't I have like a really dark green in here somewhere? What are you? Yeah, we're gonna go with this green here. I'm gonna have to put a shelf up over here and put the paints on it. I should redo this entire wall behind me so that it actually works for, as a paint booth. So far, I'm really enjoying these paints. These paints by Ophir or whatever it is. Ophir. O-P-H-I-R. Spraying way better than Dollarama, which doesn't really say much, I know, but I don't need too much green because I'm only doing a, a lateral line with it. Something like that. Well, that scared the shit out of me. And I think I might just leave it like that. So just something basic, nothing fancy. Just something lame. A little bit of Scarevers Customs. I was gonna put like black lines through it and stuff, but I don't know if I need to. I think if I just hang that. Now, one thing I wish I had was some form of a clear coat. All I got is this acrylic stuff back here, which will work, but one good fish bite and it all comes off. And what I'm talking about is this crystal clear acrylic coating. Permanent protective gloss finish, non-yellowing, moisture resistant, dries in minutes. I'm just gonna take this right off. I'm not putting eyeballs on this one. Some people might go all out and epoxy seal them. Not me, man. Low budget productions present spray paint automotive clear coat. Great for the fish. Is this toxic? Yeah, it's got the poison symbol on it. Okay, not great for the fish, but good enough good stuff. So we'll let that hang there. I'll probably have some drips off the ass end. Don't you fall, you son of a whore. Okay, good, good, good. Sweet, punch it a bite. I like how there's already paint on my masking tape. That's... That lets you know that I do things. Probably not right. <laughs> Mental note when buying masking tape. Or when you're gonna use masking tape, don't use masking tape, that's super ancient because it really loses its adhesive hold. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that off of there. I'm just gonna hang this here for now while I figure out what the heck we're gonna use for uh, our paint. I think we're gonna go with, I think I already said, eh? Red on the back and something up front, or should I give it a bait fish look? It's already painted white, but it's already painted white. What colors do I have to play with in here? See, I don't even know what traditional colors ploppers are. What do I got on the gun right now, green? Yeah, I got green. I really do like that green, but we'll get that out of there. All right, let's uh, confirm there's nothing else in there. We're good. Let's do a red tail. I do have red in here, right? Like it's the most common damn color. Yeah, there we are. Let's do a red tail. Then we'll do something neat with the body. Like I said, I never owned a Whopper Plopper before in the history of owning a Whopper, Whopper Plopper until I've gotten these two. And see how these two are homemade. If they function, that's dope. But as far as the crankbaits go, well, they're fails. They're instantly a fail because crankbaits are supposed to float, not sink. 
especially not sink like a rock. So that's on me because I didn't read the instructions on the site. Because I was following another guy's crankbait idea and he said he did 50% infill. I did 80% infill, thinking more rigidity would be better. The reason why he did 50% infill is to leave some air in there so that it had a place to go. Like it had, a, it would float. All right, so we got the uh, red plopper tail. So it's gonna look like a bleeding motorboat fish. I know motorboat fish aren't a thing, but uh, let's just pretend they are for the sake of the video. Thinking for the body. I wanna keep the belly white, but I wanna do something cool with the top. I'm thinking maybe we'll, we'll go with this pink on, on the, uh, the top. That could look pretty cool. I probably should have looked up like traditional paint colors for these things, but I'm just doing my own thing because that's what I want to do. And what I might do is I might grab some black and do some black stripes down the sides or something just to give it an interesting look on the top. Man, when I'm done spray painting, that canvas is going to look so cool. Somebody's going to come over here who's like a big art critic and be like, Wow, man, I love your piece. What do you call it? And I'll be like, spray painting bites. <laughs> Sweet till you see this mess. It's hilarious. Let's get this thing off of here. I know you're probably saying, Adam, you made a bait holder and you're still not using it. Yeah. All right, that's a nice pink. So that's what I ended up with. Not sure, really, not sure. I'm thinking, because I do that from time to time, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the, the brush. Oh, I'm just dicking around. This is gonna be an interesting video. I'm gonna have to add music in behind it just to make it somewhat interesting to watch. Okie dokie, Smokey. Clear that, cool. I'm actually thinking some black. Yeah, I'm gonna put a shelf over here to hold the paints so I don't have to keep them in the box. I wanna put some black lines and I wanna put some black shadow where the eyeballs are gonna go. All right, let's get you off of here. Probably not the uh, greatest lateral line. It's a lateral line, so. I don't know, I saw that tip about putting black around the eyes on um, one of the videos I watched. I think it was uh, Marling's video. Just added a little bit of black detail on the top of it. Not like the fish is ever gonna see that, but might. I really should throw some white on the bottom of it just to cover up that BB. The tip of that tail black. Just a little bit of detail on the tail. We'll see if that whops and plops. All right, let's go ahead, sit this guy back on. I'm wondering if I should paint the bottom of it with white, even though it is already white. And the other thing I'm wondering is if the paint will get in between the whopper and the plopper and cause some problems. All things I'm always asking myself because I've never actually owned, like I said, I never owned a plopper before. And this is my first time ever doing anything like this. Holy shit, that black paint is in there to live. I'm gonna go with opaque white. We're gonna spray the bottom. Probably gonna get paint inside of that hole and it's probably gonna dick over the friggin' the little hooky thing. If you guys are wondering, like, you see me putting the uh, tabs for the paint on the garbage can, just know that it's my garbage can and I can do what I want. So, all right, got some white in there. Let's see how well that sprays. Jesus, freaking chipmunk, like right on top of my foot. These little assholes, man. This is white, right, not silver? Whatever, I'm painting it anyway. I honestly could have like mud stomped that thing and killed it. All right, plopper whopper complete. I'm gonna go ahead and just let that dry. I'm gonna have to look into the art of um, cleaning an airbrush. Probably didn't shake this up enough either because uh, that's kind of gloopy in there. Bet you if I added a couple drops of water to it, she'd run. Good thing I never took that bet. All right, well, whatever. Let's, uh, once again, painting with white. Not the easiest thing to do. All right, well, I'm basically done with the plopper of whopping. So next up, to hit it with the clear coat, then we are freaking golden. I'm only painting the two tonight. I might paint the others off camera just for fun. Like I said, I need to revamp that crankbait mold so that we can actually, where the hell did the other bait go? Oh yeah, put it over here. I wanna put another coat of clear on this one. Uh, if I can find that other hanger, 
Or did that fall? That fell. Okay, cool. I was advised by the kids that I fish with that Lavaz River is open, which means, in theory, I can totally go and test out the action on these things if I want to. And if I don't put any hooks in them, I'm not really fishing. So if anybody comes by and says fishing's out of season, I can say chill. I'm only testing. I'm not fishing. And if anything does happen to bite them, who cares? Because they won't get they won't get hooked. Let that run for a bit. Hopefully that plopper doesn't get stuck. All right. We'll let those drip dry. And I'm going in the house because my dinner should be ready. And if you're wondering about my work of art, check that shit out. Oh yeah. That's friggin' museum worthy right there. So we'll let these two boys dangle and uh and cure up. Yeah. Not the prettiest, but shit she'll do. Shit she'll do. I don't know what the hell I'm doing when I'm spraying paint, but I learned how to use airbrush paints, so that's kind of cool. Because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I'm just going to turn that off. Let the chippies do their running around and being idiots. I'm going to have to deal with those things too one of these days. I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to get rid of them. So anyway, for supper tonight, I cooked a ham steak. They had them on sale. I went to Fresh Co last night and they had ham steak on sale for like four bucks for massive ones. So I was like, I need that in my life. So I grabbed that and we're having that. So we're having ham. Trust me, it's really big. It's just, it's covered with a lot of cabbage. And that's our one meal for the day. So the ham's, ham is ham. It's fairly good for keto. Like it's not too fatty, but you know, it's fatty enough. And cabbage is the ultimate filler because you eat like a kilo of it and it's only maybe 96 calories. <laughs> like cabbage is an awesome filler. Like you ever heard of the cabbage soup diet where it's like, it's a soup with a lot of cabbage in it and you eat it to lose weight because it fills you up and then you just don't eat for like, ever it's the ultimate caloric deficit diet but it's very catabolic and i don't recommend it so yeah that's my dinner that's all i'm eating today bon appetit well it's friggin' late as all hell but uh i did a thing i printed up another swim bait or jerk bait or crank bait uh, i screwed up the friggin' tail there whatever i have an idea as to how i can make this a lot better the infill is set to 60% and it's hard to see on camera, but there's a massive air bladder in there. Let's go fill it. Well, I already got a pot full of water downstairs from when I did the previous float tests. So let's go drop this thing in there and see how she floats. Hopefully she floats because I put a big circle of air in there. It's like a dome. I put it near the head so that it would, oh no, I put it near the back so the head would dip so that when you pull it, it would grab water. So do you float? Yes, you do, and you do well. A little bit of a leaner, but I'm sure with some hooks on it, that won't be a problem. I could put, um, I don't know if I can fit hooks on there. I don't have the stuff on it. Like, how quickly does it surface? Surfaces like right away. She goes sideways, but I'm sure with hooks on the bottom and on the back, she'll keep herself uh, belly side down and wibble wobble. So we might be okay with this. The problem is, is this material, this PLA plus, once it hardens, it doesn't drill well. So it's a real pain in the ass to use to make lures, which is why the white one that I printed came out so well. So I'm ordering up some more PLA. I'm just gonna get some basic PLA to do the lures in white. Plus I'm gonna get some aluminum PLA, which is like, it's plastic, but it's called silk PLA. So when it hardens, it's smooth and it's silver. So that could be a, a great way just to print off a lure from, from the print bed to the lake, you know? But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down here. It's friggin' late. I've been up uh, dicking around with this thing tonight and might as well just turn off the 3D printer because we're pretty much good here. It takes an hour and 17 minutes to print off one of those crankbaits. So that's not too freaking bad. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it as it is. And then uh, tomorrow we'll, uh, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. I probably should get to cleaning out that garage and tidying up all the shelves and picking through things and throwing things out. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be for another day. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Like I say, with this 3D printing, it's all about trial and error. Sometimes you gotta try things, they don't work. You gotta try, try again. Luckily PLA is super cheap. And I even found some budget where you can buy a, a one kilogram spool for like $14.99, 15 bucks.
So you can do all sorts of test prints until you find something that works and then you can bust out the expensive shit and really hit it. Good idea. All right, until next time guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. And until next time, live it to win it and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.